What once seemed like a dream of exploring the solar system is quickly turning into a nightmare for Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin. The company's new Glenn rocket, which is expected to launch in 2024, has yet to see the light of day. Let's talk about how the new Glenn was once expected to compete with Starship, and how it has been let down by its design, engine, and testing issues. Be sure to stay tuned as we are giving away $100 to one lucky participant at the end of August. All you have to do to qualify is to like subscribe, leave a comment with an insight you learned, and watch this video to the very end. Rules in the description. Blue Origin and SpaceX are two companies that were founded around the same time, sharing grand aspirations of space exploration. Blue Origin's ambitious plan was to develop the New Glenn rocket and compete directly with SpaceX's Starship, with the ultimate goal being the exploration and settlement of the solar system. However, despite dedicating over a decade to research and manufacturing efforts, Blue Origin's progress on the new Glenn has been mostly presented through animations and renderings, leaving many longing for tangible advancements. The company has yet to demonstrate significant real-world developments, while SpaceX's Starship has been making remarkable strides in the same period, captivating global attention. Despite their shared starting point, Blue Origin and SpaceX took different paths in their rocket development journeys over the last several years. Their designs and development philosophies diverged significantly, leading them to separate trajectories. SpaceX took a dynamic approach to its rocket design, continuously iterating and experimenting until they finally settled on a stainless steel version called Starship in late 2018. They wasted no time and swiftly constructed multiple steel prototypes. From August 2020 to May 2021, seven Starship prototypes underwent test flights. While delays are common in rocket development, SpaceX stood out for its ability to reevaluate and make modifications quickly. However, even with their adaptive approach, the inaugural orbital launches of the S-24 and B-7 prototypes faced persistent delays, falling approximately 20 months behind the initial plan outlined by Musk in 2016. It's interesting to note that these delays occurred despite the significant differences in rocket design. Like SpaceX Starship, Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket has also experienced delays in its development, originally expected to debut around 2020. However, the reasons behind the delays differ between the two companies. For SpaceX, the primary cause of the delays was the significant design instability of the Starship before 2019. This issue provided a reasonably justifiable explanation for the setbacks they encountered in their timeline. On the other hand, the new Glenn's design has remained largely unchanged despite its extensive delays. This contrasts with SpaceX's Starship, which underwent numerous design iterations and changes over time. In terms of size, the new Glenn is smaller compared to the Starship. It measures 7 meters in width and approximately 98 meters in height, while the Starship has a width of 9 meters and a height of around 119 meters. The new Glenn rocket will predominantly use traditional aluminum alloys for its structures. It will be powered by seven BE-4 engines and will have deployable legs for landing. The upper stage will be expendable and will be powered by two B-3U engines. Atop the rocket, there will be a large composite payload fairing. Blue Origin did make a few changes to their original plans for the rocket. They canceled the idea of a smaller interim fairing and abandoned the concept of landing the booster on a moving ship. They also made tweaks to the booster's landing legs and some other attributes. However, apart from these adjustments, the new Glenn remains visually unchanged from its initial reveal back in 2016. This makes it even more peculiar that Blue Origin has conducted very little integrated testing of the major components of the new Glenn rocket. The absence of comprehensive testing raises questions about the progress and readiness of the rocket for actual missions. Unfortunately for Blue Origin, the company has also had bad luck with the testing of its engines. The BE-4 engine developed by Blue Origin boasts an impressive thrust capability of 250 tons, slightly higher than SpaceX's Raptor 2 engine, which provides 230 tons of thrust. The successful flight testing of the BE-4 engine in the ULA Vulcan rocket is crucial for Blue Origin's plans for New Glenn. The results of these tests will likely determine the viability and reliability of the engine for New Glenn's core stage. However, this setback has brought forth a noticeable period of silence and turbulence in Blue Origin's updates and progress regarding the new Glenn rocket. It seems that the recent news and developments have not yet provided Blue Origin with a clear and certain direction for the new Glenn rocket. However, the company has made some good moves recently, such as resuming fairing drop tests. These tests had been halted in January, but have now been resumed. To carry out these tests, 
Blue Origin has obtained temporary flight restrictions, TFRs, and issued Marine Safety Information Bulletins, MSIBs, to confirm the testing activities near Cape Canaveral. These measures are put in place to ensure safety during the testing process, which typically involves experimental or potentially hazardous operations. During the fairing drop tests, Blue Origin utilized a helicopter to drop one half of the new Glen payload fairing into the ocean, which was then later retrieved from the water. These tests mark the initial phase of preparing the fairing for recovery in future New Glenn missions, similar to SpaceX's approach to recovering their payload fairings. Additionally, Blue Origin is undertaking a significant testing project at their CAPE facility, known as the Phase II Reusable Development Program, or Project Jarvis. The Jarvis test tanks have been constructed and tested in an adjacent tent area near SLC-36. While specific technical details about this project remain undisclosed, it showcases Blue Origin's commitment to advancing reusability technologies and reducing the cost of space access, much like SpaceX's efforts. There have also been several reports regarding the first stage reuse method and landing platform for New Glenn. Blue Origin appears to have contracted the same company that SpaceX used to develop large autonomous drone ships for booster recovery. These drone ships are essential for providing landing services and aiding in the recovery of the first stage boosters. This decision suggests that Blue Origin is following a similar path to SpaceX in terms of autonomous drone ship usage for rocket recovery. Before this development, Blue Origin had different plans for the first stage boosters of New Glenn. They intended to recover these boosters downrange in the Atlantic Ocean using a hydrodynamically stabilized ship called Jacqueline. However, it seems they have now opted for the more advanced approach of using autonomous drone ships, which is the same method utilized by SpaceX for their Falcon 9 rocket landings. All things considered, it must be asked why it has taken Blue Origin so long in the development of New Glenn when it was announced around the same time as the Starship. One cause could be the difference in the development strategy undertaken by both companies. While SpaceX has been known for its move fast and break things approach, Blue Origin has taken a more measured and deliberate path toward progress and development. However, critics argue that Blue Origin has faced challenges in fully realizing its development goals. The company's new Shepard rocket has seen only a few crude launches and, unfortunately, a catastrophic failure. As a result, progress with the new Shepard has been limited. These unsuccessful launches have raised concerns about Blue Origin's ability to execute its ambitious plans. Despite these set Blue Origin's ambitions have expanded rapidly. The company is now aiming to build a space station, land on the moon, and compete at the forefront of the space race. Projects like Blue Origin's Orbital Reef Space Station and the Blue Moon Landing spacecraft in collaboration with NASA showcase their growing aspirations in the space industry. The company's shift from a step-by-step -step approach to attempting bigger leaps without reaching orbit has drawn criticism. Some see it as a deviation from their initial strategy, possibly stretching their resources and capabilities too thin. In comparison to SpaceX's transparent and iterative development of Starship, Blue Origin's progress has appeared slower and less visible. SpaceX has undergone multiple design revisions, conducted flight testing of prototypes like Starship's first-ever iteration, Starhopper, and achieved significant milestones in a relatively short time span. Given the current circumstances, it remains highly unlikely that the new Glenn will make its targeted launch date set for some time next year. What do you think? Can Blue Origin turn things around and prove everyone wrong? Let us know in the comments below.